Welcome to our channel everyone. My name is Aman. I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. And in this video, we're going to speak about all the courses you can do as a student in Canada to get into the Canadian mechanical HVAC industry. So if this is something you want to learn about, stay tuned because we got lots of good information for you. So if you're wondering why you should listen to this video, I'm going to give you three reasons for that. One, I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and my team can get you into Canada on a study permit. Second, I have worked in the Canadian HVAC industry for about 10 years and the last job I had was as a national service manager for an HVAC company. Third, uh, I've made some videos about this industry and a lot of people ask these specific questions to me regarding how they can come to Canada and I'm going to answer the majority of those questions today, specifically for the students who want to come here and study. So having said that, let's start and let's see what information we have for you today. Okay. Starting with the video, we're going to only speak about the courses related to mechanical HVAC industry, which you can do when you come to Canada. And we're only going to speak about two or three year programs. The reason is that with two or three years program, you're going to get a three year work permit, which is going to be long enough for you to uh, get settled in Canada, get your permanent residency, and maybe hopefully find the, the dream job you're looking for. If you only come here for a one year program, you're only going to get a one year work permit. That's not nearly long enough for you to find a good job, do that job for one year and apply for your permanent residency. So you're going to put yourself in a very tight spot. So I always recommend to go for a two or a three year program, depending upon your uh, financial uh, status. Then we're only going to speak about the designated learning institutes. Those are the institutes, uh, if you study in them, then only you'll be eligible to get the open work permit after you uh, complete your studies. And then we're only going to speak about, about the colleges in Ontario. I know that uh, that's just one province in Canada, but it, we cannot complete the, uh, the courses available in all the colleges in Canada. So just Ontario, we'll give you a sample and then we'll show you the examples of the courses you could do. And then in other provinces, if you want to study, for example, in BC, our team can definitely help you with that. And at the end of the video, we're going to uh, give you the information on how you can contact us and uh, move the process forward all right so moving on the uh, first thing i would say that when you want to study in uh, in canada the biggest thing you need to understand is that there is certain requirements to get into certain colleges so first example is that if you want to come here right after you complete your uh, plus two or after you complete your uh, three-year diploma in canada right so you have uh, a secondary school certification or a diploma and the first option is that you can actually come here and become an HVAC technician. So those are the people who would work in the field with their hands on the HVAC equipment. That could be heating, ventilation, air conditioners, could be boilers, it could be refrigeration units, it could be any kind of heating units. And to uh, get into that course, the first thing you need is you need to have either a grade 12 high school uh, diploma or a uh, three year diploma in, for example, mechanical engineering. Then you need a minimum uh, GPA of 55%, which could uh, be equal to 70% uh, of uh, scores in the Indian education system. Language, you have the option of going for TOEFL, IELTS, Duolingo or uh, PTE. And the minimum scores for TOEFL uh, you need is 80 uh, and IELTS you need uh, overall six and um, a minimum of five and a half each in all sections. Uh, listening, speaking, reading and writing and for Duolingo you need uh, at least 105 and for PTE you need uh, minimum 58. So this gives you an example of what uh, language requirements are there for becoming an HVAC technician. Moving on, the option for going into a college, we're going to take the example of Conestoga College and uh, the diploma course there is a two-year program which is heating, refrigeration and air conditioning technician. Keep in mind, in Canada, HVAC is a regulated licensed profession. So if you want to become an HVAC technician, you need to get the license from the provincial authority. These courses are not going to give you the license, but to be eligible to appear for a license, you need to do this course. So the, the steps are that you get into a college based on your credentials and then do a two year program in which you will learn all the basics of heating and cooling. And after you graduate from that college, you can go to the provincial authority and appear for the examination. Only after you get the license from uh, the provincial authority, you'll be able to work as a HVAC technician in Canada. 
okay so let's go to uh, the the college's website Konasagas college's website and we'll show you uh, the the link here and quickly check out what this program is about okay so here is the the website link in the interest of time for this video we're not going to go to the link for every course we're going to show in this video uh, we, we are going to only show you this one but i'm going to leave the link of all the courses in the video description section so you can go check it out uh, as and when you want okay so for this website conestoga college is a college here uh, in uh, ontario and uh, they obviously offer multiple courses one of them is a two-year program for heating refrigeration and air conditioning technician and you see the program uh, description would explain you what you're going to learn in this program but as I previously mentioned this program will prepare you for uh, the provincial licensing exam so it's a two-year program uh, it starts every September so one thing you would would notice is majority of these courses which is a two-year uh, uh, pre-graduation diploma program or Ontario college diploma program they start in September so if you want to apply for one of these programs so you need to uh, work accordingly to make sure that uh, you can get into the next session right and it's going to be a full-time program uh, majority of them would uh, be in class and uh, hands-on training and some of the courses would also give you a, a co-op uh, training as well where you would go into a company and work with them for a specific period of time and it will give you the admission requirement for these courses as well uh, sorry my internet is a little slow uh, so you see the admission requirements for uh, the courses, uh, what's your language requirement, what's your math requirements and all of that. And you will see the courses which they're going to teach you in that two year program. So every level one and level two uh, will explain you in heating and refrigeration what exactly you're going to learn. So I, I highly advise that if you are getting into this uh, kind of industry, you should go into one of these colleges websites and have a look at the course which they they have for you okay that way you will have the right idea what you should be prepared for and what you need to learn uh, in these courses okay so since you have looked at the link the other information you need to know the intakes for this college as i said a uh, majority of them would have september but some of them would have january intakes as well and uh, an average fees for a course like this is going to be something between 13,500 to maybe 15 or 16,000 dollars per year since it's a, it's a two year program so multiply it by two and that will give you the idea of the entire course fees and usually would have a hundred dollar application fees as well and if you can see on your screen this course is available in many different uh, colleges like Centennial, Humber, Elginkin, uh, George Brown, Fleming College, Cambrian College, St. Clair College and Fenshaw College as well so you do have a lot of option if you want to get into this course so the next option is that if you come to canada after your plus two or your diploma and you want to become um, do you want to come into the hvac industry you can go and do a course in energy systems technician so for example what happens is that, uh, is that since canada is a very cold country country heating is a, a huge requirement in this country and every building every home obviously needs heating so I would recommend to people who want to get into the, the industry, get into the commercial businesses, get into where you would design the HVAC systems for the buildings, you would install them or you would manage them after uh, they're completed. So this course would uh, mo more or less give you all the information you need to uh, be able to design those systems yourself. And um, majority of the times you might have to go into a three year or four year a degree program to become a HVAC engineer uh, who would be able to do these mechanical designs but if you don't want to get into the designing yourself but you want to become um, an energy systems technician this course is going to be for you more or less the same amount of uh, fees uh, 15,900 per year and uh, Centennial College do not charge any application fees for this program so similar cor courses are available in St. Lawrence College as well not a lot of options um, but there are uh, certain uh, colleges across Canada who would be able to give you uh, a very good two-year program uh, in energy systems technician after option three is the energy uh, sorry building system uh, engineering technician so those are the technicians who would basically work on the all the equipment which are installed in the building their connectivity how they're going to operate how you troubleshoot them and how you make sure they are working in proper health for a very long period of time same thing two-year program 
uh, in Seneca College, uh, January and uh, September intake, and fifteen thousand one sixty four Canadian per year uh, fees and about ninety dollar admission fees. Uh, unfortunately, this co course is only available in Seneca in Ontario. But if you want to go into another province, we can definitely help uh, look for a similar course for you. Okay, so those are most of the options you would have if you come to Canada after plus two or your diploma and you want to get into the industry and do a two year program. The next option is for people who do their graduations or degrees in India or another country and they want to come here. Uh, the problem here is that after you do your degree, you only have the option of either going for a, a master's um, or you can do a post-graduation certificate program. Usually the post-graduation certificate programs offered by majority of the colleges only one year because they realize that you already have a degree. You do not have to spend so long in your college to get some specific knowledge. So that's a little disadvantage. Um, but there are certain colleges which would still offer a two-year program. There are not many, but there are definitely some, uh, which will help you again the same process that after your two-year uh, post-graduation program, you can get a uh, three-year work permit and stay here on your permanent residency. So let's look at uh, some options uh, which we have. And uh, the requirement for these programs, again, it's going to be a little higher than uh, the requirements uh, when you come after plus two or your diploma, you need a minimum uh, GP of 55%, which is about 70% uh, uh, in uh, India. And your language, you need um, TOEFL 88, IELTS six and a half, min, uh, and the average of six each, and a Duolingo score of 115, and a PTE overall score of 58. So if there are little higher requirements for English as well. And the first option we want to uh, check is the post-graduation certificate offered by Conestoga College. And it's a, a graduation certificate in applied energy management. I'm going to take you to the link for this uh, website uh, in a moment. And uh, you can see the fee structure is uh, much more expensive than the uh, two-year uh, undergraduate program as well. So you will see that on an average, you will pay about $21,750 uh, for a year, so multiplied by two, you get your uh, average fees and about $100 application fees as well. And the similar courses are available in various colleges as well. So keep in mind that if you want to come here after your uh, bachelor's degree, you still need to go for a two-year program to get the full three-year work permit. Okay, so having said that, let's go check out the website. Okay, so here we see the Applied Energy Management Program from Conestoga College. Uh, you have the option to go for a January 22, 2022 intake in Kitchener and then you have an option of September uh, intakes as well. And you will be able to see the program description, the code 1459 full time length two years in Kitchener and starting in January 2022 and it will give you an Ontario College graduate certificate. Okay. And uh, you will be able to see the courses, the type of career you can get into. Let's have a quick look that do they show you any jobs as well. So it, this is not a very good description. I, I would definitely hope for a little bit more uh, showing the, uh, the type of uh, jobs you can get. But they're simply saying that the graduates will have a solid background in managing products sorry, managing projects, uh, communications, human resources, and safety practices to be able to effectively uh, contribute in today's industrial sector. So HVAC industry in, in Canada, as I said, it's a huge industry and you have very well-paying jobs, satisfying jobs. So if you uh, want to get into this, this is probably going to be a very good course for you. Okay, so let's go back to the other option, right? So the next option, as I said, that after you uh, come here uh, by doing your graduation in uh, another country, you can go for a master's uh, degree in uh, engineering. The issue here is that the master's uh, is not going to be a specific in HVAC industry. It's going to be master's in engineering, mechanical engineering. And you have to go to a university to do the master's. The colleges wouldn't offer you a master's degree or even a diploma, uh, a, sorry, a bachelor's degree. Colleges on, can only offer you diplomas. And if you have to get a, a degree, uh, a bachelor's or master's, you have to go to, into a university and the, the fees for the university is going to be high as well. As you can see, University of Fort Ottawa offers the master's in mechanical engineering and uh, it's going to be uh, 12,960 per year. 
uh, fees that's pretty, kind of a very reasonable amount it's not so so high and you have about 110 dollars application fees as well so if you want to get into masters uh, this is a very good option and the same course in uh, mechanical engineering uh, masters is going to be available in multiple different universities as well okay so with this information i hope you should have uh, a bit of a knowledge what kind of courses are available to get into the hvac industry in canada and my team we have access to almost i'd say uh, 85 to 90 percent of colleges and universities we can get your admission in there and if you want to uh, to apply um, i'll uh, recommend that you go check out our website and uh, contact us from there and we'll be more than happy to assess your uh, information and your case and we'll be able to work with you to find a suitable course which will help you in your career as well as in your permanent residency uh, journey as well and um, we'll be more than happy to work with you uh, at the maybe immigration services that's the name of our company we we work really hard to help people um, save them from uh, immigration scam we try to inform people about the fake offer letters from colleges or job market and we make videos on the same topic as well plus we make videos on different immigration options for people we want to make sure that if you want to come to Canada uh, don't just trust anyone blindly do your research find out what your real options are and, and do you even qualify for those options because that's only you will be, be able to save you from those immigration scams and uh, do your own research figure out what's best for you and then work with the regulated canadian immigration consultant it could be myself or somebody else of your choosing and uh, make sure that you sign an agreement with them before you even start working with them take some steps uh, to save yourself from uh, immigration scams and you'll be okay and if you want our team to help you out here i will leave the information to contact us in the description section down below i'll be more than happy to help you out so if you like the the information we provide in this video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family because that's the only way for us to uh, to grow this channel and spread this good information to other people as well thank you very much for watching and stay uh, tuned for the next video